Welcome to the workshop. My apologies for rushing you in like that since it's out of first order. That's just recently arrived. We can never be too careful who we let into our workshop and to our home. But now that you're here and you're safe, go ahead and take a look around. I know there's not much to see, probably some dust, some candles, maybe junk to you, but to us, all of this means everything. Where are my manners? Introduction. We have Andrew and we have Lynn. My name is Eddie and together we humbly call ourselves the Gatherers. We know that we've been around for many years, hidden in plain sight, traveling and scouring the galaxy through abandoned outposts like the Great Temple in Yavin 4, Labyrinth forests of Kashyyyk and even forgotten temples both Jedi and Sith. We scavenge for these seemingly worthless relics and artifacts and we bring them back here to the workshop for you. Because we believe that if we can preserve our past, we can ensure a brighter future for future generations to come. Because as you've seen outside, the future is bleak. But not to worry. In dark times, a hero is born and rises to the occasion. Heroes like the legendary Luke Skywalker. You've heard of him? That's okay, we'll catch you up for those of you who haven't. <laughs> but we have a new Jedi. She goes by the name of Rey, and she is that spark of hope that we now need, and that's why you're here, to answer the call much like they did, by building something extraordinary and unique. You're here to build this. The lightsaber. Now, the lightsaber is both elegant and enigmatic. It's been wielded by the greatest of heroes, and the darkest of foes. But though the lightsaber is a lost and ancient art form used more in a civilized age, it's a direct reflection of its builder. Connecting the builder to the force, allowing the force to flow through, and today you will all feel that connection. Believe me. But in order to have that connection, you need one important thing. Something small, yet vital. The Kyber Crystal. Now, the Kyber Crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. It channels and focuses and magnifies the force into your blade. Therefore, the color of one's crystal will depict the color of one's blade. And there may be many kind of crystals out there in the galaxy. We've gathered four for you to choose from today. As you can see, it was no easy task, but we managed. Story for another time, though. Let's start with blue. Once we my master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, his young apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and now our spark of hope, Ray. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and the legendary Luke Skywalker have all held the green crystal. Violet, rare, and beautiful. It was once held by Master Mace Windu. Finally, red. Some call it the crystal of power. Wielded by the likes of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now, Kylo Ren. Those are the stories of the past. You are our future. It's time for you to choose your Kyber Crystal. Or the crystal may choose you. Well, Lynn and Andrew are going to come around and present to you your options. Look deep within your heart. Whichever color reflects your heart is the heart of your lightsaber. Take it. It's yours. And once you have taken your Kyber Crystal, you may then place it on the green dish that lies before you. You need a hilt, and the hilt is the foundation of a lightsaber. It is the center of control. Right now, my fellow gatherers and I are presenting you the components that you previously selected earlier. I know there's a lot to look at in these trays, but we're not. We'll go over them together as one. As intimidating as it may seem to have all these pieces in front of you and not know what they are, don't worry. Just know that when they do come together, they come together quite nicely. Mm -hmm. So let's explore. To your far left, you have your chassis, which houses your Kyber crystal in the center. Columns one and two are your grips. Column three, your emitters. Column four, your end caps. And column five, your two sets of activation plates. I'm going to instruct you, step by step, how to build your hill to begin your journey. If you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask one of my fellow gatherers to arrive. 
Let's build. We're gonna start off with the chassis and your kyber crystal. Take your kyber crystal and place it in the center in that open chamber. You'll have to shimmy it in. If you notice on the side of the vents, there is a loaded spring mechanism inside that open chamber. So it may be best if you use your kyber crystal to push up against that loaded spring and slide the bottom of the crystal into place. Once you do that, the crystal should glow. The golden rule with kyber crystals. If your kyber crystal does not glow, please let us know. Let's move forward. If you notice on the side of your chassis, you have two color indicators. A blue rectangle and a red square. Let's keep that in mind and go to column five. In column five, you have two sets of activation plates. You're going to choose one match set. Inside the set that you have chosen, choose your favorite. You will find the same color indicator, so you're going to match them. Make sure that the blue rectangle goes right on top of the blue rectangle and the red square on top of the red square. Snap these together in place, covering and protecting your kyber crystal as well as acting as your activation switch. Column five, column five. When you check your switch, you should hear a misfire. That's a good sign. So once again, to activate, push up. To deactivate, cool down. Let's move forward. We need grips. Let's go to columns one and two. You have four to choose from. Choose two out of the four. Any two you want, you can place them anywhere on your chassis. But here's the rule with grips. You must make sure that the larger rim always goes in first. It slides first into your chassis, whether it's the top or the bottom. Next, you will apply pressure while twisting to the right to secure it onto your activation plates. So choose another grip. Uh, we're not on the floor yet. <laughs> one grip for the top, one grip for the bottom. Apply pressure while twisting to the right to secure that grip onto your activation plate. A grip for the top, a grip for the bottom. Larger rim goes in first. Make sure your both grips are secure onto your activation plates. For those of you who are ready to move forward, we need an emitter for the top of your chassis. Let's go to column three. Column three, you have two emitters. You'll choose one of the two, and that goes right on top where the open end is of your chassis. Column three, we'll go like the top if you're good, go ahead and push one of these to put on the bottom, just twist to the right, make sure it's perfectly balanced. So you're just going to do that, and then we turn the entire build upside down like this, place it on top, and then twist it Do the same thing, turn the build upside down. Next, you'll turn your hips over upside down, and you have end cap. Let's go to column four, choose an end cap. Let gravity guide you on the threading. That's why I highly recommend you turn your hilt upside down so you don't cross thread. When you're done building your hilt and you're ready for inspection, place your hilt on the hilt holder in front of you, which will indicate to us to come by and double check your work.
Stabilization. So we need you all to take a giant step back from your workstations and make room for my fellow gatherers. We're going to come around and secure your hilts in the crystal stabilization chambers. Now we have to make sure that the emitter matrix is not inverted, otherwise it could cause some complications and we don't want any of those. Also, in case you haven't noticed, we are not force sensitive, which is why we have this technology to expedite the process when building a lightsaber. But I'm sure you can all agree with me when I say that uh, technology is not always as reliable as it should be. That being my fellow gatherers. Excellent. We're ready to stabilize. Stand clear. Why are crystals are stabilizing? It's important that you stabilize. Something's going on with the lighting. Let me just change that real quick. Right? Many parts killed her. Now, join the arm. Yes. Lightsaber. It begins. It is time. Your journey. That's Yoda. Surely the Force must be strong in here. He's right, builders. It's time. Time to forge the bond between builder and saber. So in a moment, I'll have you take a step forward. You will place your hand on your hilt, and we will activate together as one. This journey has led you to this moment. Builders, take that step forward. Place your hand on your hilt. Focus. Activate. Raise your lightsabers. You have just built a lightsaber. Like the Jedi and Sith that came before you and like them, you too can change the galaxy. But remember, it only takes a spark. Raise them high. Raise them proud. Well done. Please lower and deactivate your sabers. The bond is truly forged. <sighs> Complete your lightsaber is. Like you will, it can, but need you, it cannot. Your journey, you both begin. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. And may the Force be with you. Thank you, builders, for seeking us out. Know that your lightsabers are as unique and extraordinary as each and every one of you. However, in your hands, you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. So to protect your new lightsaber, we're pleased to present you a saber sheet 
as you depart. But sadly, our time here has come to an end, but your journey is just beginning. It's time for you to go out there and make your mark on the galaxy. And who knows, perhaps maybe one day we, the gatherers, will be here at Savi's workshop telling your story. As we say here at the outpost, safe travels until the spire. Until the spire! All right, down that way, go. Let's take a look at your sandwich.